Hey guys, you know, occasionally there's things out there, you know, products in the firearms industry that really kind of get to me. It's like, why didn't I think about that? Why didn't I start marketing and selling that and making money off of it? And then there's other things. It's like, what the hell are you people thinking selling this? A couple of years ago, the VersaCarry Kydex holster came out. It was like a little clip thing that went down in your waistband and then had a little plug at the end of your barrel. And you put your barrel on it and that way you can conceal without a big bulky holster or whatever. Um, apparently you were supposed to carry that holster unloaded and I don't know what was what, what, with you guys but when I carry my, my firearm for self-defense concealed it is obviously always loaded so if you're carrying a firearm concealed unloaded because you're not feeling safe to carry a loaded firearm don't carry a gun altogether put a brick in your waistband so this thing came out the other day on Facebook, and I really hope to God it's not a true thing. They say it's patented, but it's called the bungee holster. And a lot of people are going to start start buying these things. Uh, they sell them for like $7.99 on their website. Um, I really hope it's a big joke, but a lot of people are sharing it on Facebook. I'm always going to share the video they put up today. Chairman, bungee holster.com. B-U-N-G-E-E, holster, all one word, dot com. If we have to spell holster for you, we don't want you operating any machinery, much less ours. Here it is, newly patented. We're very excited about it. To remove the holster, you simply pull on the tab, and you've produced your holster. It is a proprietary, high tensile rubber band. I hate to call it that because of all the research and development that went into this, but it is extraordinarily strong. It's the lightest weight holster on the market, lowest profile. We're so confident there's a lifetime warranty. Okay. Let me show you how to put it on. I can't handle any more of that. When you're carrying a firearm, loaded or unloaded, openly or concealed, trigger guard coverage and retention are number one. Now, I do carry my Glock 26 and my Smith & Wesson shield in this sticky holster. There is no said retention in there, but it sits inside my waistband and my, wa my belt is cinched down and it holds it in. It does have finger, you know, trigger guard uh, coverage, you can't get the finger in there. I've got a Blackhawk Arc holster. What do you notice there? Retention and trigger guard coverage. Well, I've got my own little uh, my leather holster here that I made. There's retention because the belt tightens it down, and there's trigger guard coverage. The trigger is completely covered, plus the safety on the firearm. And I've got my own Kydex holster that I made. Then I got this little, this little blade tech holster the other day. Retention. It's not going anywhere. People are selling, making products that are just ridiculous and I'm not mad because they're making money off it. It's because of the fact that they're going to get somebody's life put in danger for having these products out there. And these people who are having, you own this bungee holster company who say it's patented. You can't patent material. You know, this Kydex here, you can, pat you can go patent Kydex holsters all you want, your design, but people can still make it out of the same pr uh, material you have here. I can get Kydex very easily and I can make my own holsters that work just as well as some products do. Maybe not as clean, but I, I promise you. Um, so what I have here is some bungee cord. This is the same shit they're using, trust me. It's just bungee cord. I use this to tie stuff down on my truck all the time. And a piece of nylon. Just like a, a piece of strap, back, backpack strap. Look at that. We're going to make a bungee holster real fast, guys. Okay, it's not that hard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it. We're going to sensor stand. And I'm going to sell some uh, oceanfront property in the middle of Kansas to you. And I'll let you know that um, it is definitely... A beautiful piece of land. Ocean comes right up to the house and it comes with a, a bunch of snake oil. Look at that right there. And I do a lot of sewing so I know what I'm doing here. Alright so we've got our our bungee and our piece of nylon here. We're not gonna do any sewing between those because why would you do that? Not saying a product can be good or you know always bad, but they're selling you bullshit. So we'll make sure we're all centered up here where we need to be. All 
I think uh, SOE ought to get on these holsters here. And they can probably make a bunch of money off of idiots. There we go. How about that? I got me a got me a bungee holster now. Now I guess we'll do another cross one here. And we've got a nice little tab. Okay. So we've got it all sewn up. Make sure we've got some. We're going to burn all these little ends off here. Look at that. High tensile rubber band. I got you a, a rubber band bungee holster or whatever you want to call it. Sell it to you for $1.50. That's a bargain. Made in the United States. Uh, I'm not going to be making any money. Uh, just give me your address. I'm kidding. I wouldn't sell this shit to anybody. What the hell? No.